Well, except when that happened. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be an exciting one, at least for me. For those of you that have been following me the past month or so, you'll know that I recently got into the hobby of RC, remote control cars. I've posted a few videos in the past of me driving my cars. I have a X-Max and a Max made by the company Traxxas. It's been something that is fun for me to do that gets me out of the house. And lately I've been wanting to try a new RC and I was trying to decide between getting a boat or a plane and kind of weighing the pros and cons. A boat would be easier to drive, but I need some sort of lake that I could drive it in. And where I live, there's not many of those. A plane is a little more challenging to fly, but you just need an open space, which there are a few places around me. So I ended up going with a plane. Right here I have a Sport Club S2. It's a beginner RC plane, and that's what it looks like. It's pretty small, it's very light, it's made with styrofoam. But the great thing about it is because it's not super big or heavy, if you do crash it, most likely it's not going to break. The one negative that I do have to say about this plane is that it's so small and light. If there's even like a slight breeze in the air, you're going to feel it while you're flying, and if you fly too high, the wind can easily overpower it and blow it away, which goes into a funny story. This is actually my second plane. Last week I bought it and ended up flying it one time and then I let my buddy try it and he accidentally flew it up too high and the wind blew it away. He went looking for it and could not find it. So I had to purchase a second one, but that's okay. The other great thing about this is it's, this one is pretty affordable. I wanted to go over the controller really quick just to show you um, what the controller is like because I know a lot of people ask me. This is the controller it comes with. It's very simple. Um, this left joystick, if I push it forward, the plane will take off. On the right side, left and right is turning the plane. On the front left corner, there is a switch with three different options, beginner mode, intermediate, and expert. And then on the right side is kind of an emergency button where if you, the plane starts, I'm pretty sure if the plane is dive bombing or going up straight, if you push it, it will just level it out. I haven't had to use it yet. Um, but yeah, that's basically just a controller. It's very simple. So I want to fly the plane around a little bit and, and show you how it flies and how I'm able to operate this as a C4 quadriplegic. I don't have any wrist or finger function at all. So um, I'm able to figure out how to do this and I'll, I'll kind of get a close up of my hands while I'm flying it. Let's take off and fly around for a bit. So even right now, I can feel the wind pushing it away from me. And there's not even that much of a breeze right now, to be honest. So uh, it's kind of hard flying it with even a slight breeze. See, right then when I turned, I felt the wind kind of push the plane down. And if, if you're going against the wind, it, it more so goes up and back instead of forward. With beginner planes like this, you kind of have to either find a, a place inside to fly it or it's got to be outside in an open field with no breeze. So I think from how it is right now, I should be able to take off again. Another way for the plane to take off is instead of from the ground, a person can actually kind of just throw it into the air. So I'm going to have my brother Caden do that right now. Yeah, all right. Yeah, and it, this is really fun in a weird way. It's like therapeutic for me just to keep this plane up in the air. And you can feel when you go with the wind and when you go against it.
I'm gonna try and just land it for now because the wind's picking up. Um, hopefully this car doesn't run over my plane. I had to cut the video for a second because the wind was blowing my plane around and I was getting near a car and I was nervous I was gonna crash it. So I landed it and then a car was coming down the street. So I had my mom run over to grab the plane cause I didn't want them to run it over. But again, I was experiencing the wind kind of blowing the plane around. I decided it's better just to land it than try to fight the wind because you can end up crashing it or like me, the wind will blow your plane away. So again, my one critique on this plane is, is that it is almost too light because the slightest breeze can interfere with it. Once I get better at flying this, I want to upgrade and get a little bit more of a sturdy, heavier duty plane. But this is kind of like my newest obsession right now is flying RC planes. I wanted to just share that with all of you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe. Please comment below videos you'd want to see. If you have any ideas of videos you want me to record, let me know in the comments below. The battery's hanging out of the plane. We're coming in for an emergency landing. Oh no. Bring it back around. No, the... It's harder than it looks. The wind keeps blowing it. Yeah. Ooh, there good catch. <laughs>